Yeah, sure. So I'm here to announce that we are launching Power Ups later this week, which is a new way for viewers to unleash special effects on their favorite channels using bits. Power Ups, they're designed to provide fun and interactive. So Twitch recently added a new feature called Power Ups that allows your viewers to pay bits to activate these rewards that they're calling Power Ups. And I want to talk about why I think this is going to be a really big deal. Now, Twitter was not happy about this at all. And I get it. You can't disable them right now. They appear above your channel point rewards, so you have to scroll down to find your channel point rewards. And one of the power ups is like this rain of emotes that stream down your page, which a lot of viewers found super distracting. However, I did have a conversation with the engineers at Twitch that actually work on these features, and I have some ideas that I would like to share publicly. A so that we can get a conversation going. B, because I'm actually gonna send this video to the engineers at Twitch so that we can make some of these ideas a reality. And C, I like to act like I have more inside info than I really do because I'm a YouTuber with a huge ego. VIP SCD keys. Sorry, I couldn't find a good segue for this. If you guys are looking to buy a Windows 11 license, you can get them for as low as $21. Just use my code NUTTY to get them for 30% off at checkout. And if you wanna save a little bit more money, you can just get a Windows 10 key for $15 and then upgrade that to Windows 11 completely for free. VIP SCD key supports secure payment methods like PayPal. They'll send you over an activation code. You plop that into your Windows settings and you're good to go. So check out VIP SCD keys in the link down below and save yourself money on Windows. And yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks. So one of the questions I saw a lot was, will Twitch allow us to create custom power-ups? Because right now there's only three default power-ups that you can't change and you can't add your own ones. And I can confirm that yes, this is the plan that apparently was already announced at TwitchCon EU. But essentially, if you guys know how the existing channel point system works, there's going to be something similar for power ups. So you will be able to create your own custom power ups on top of the three that already exist and then set the prices to whatever you want. The only difference to the existing channel point system is they're gonna cost bits instead of channel points. So just that alone is really cool because I've seen a lot of you that have your own custom bit menus that maybe you put inside of your panels or in my case, because I'm extra, I have like a screen behind me that displays a transparent menu with different options when you spend bits. And then whenever you guys spend a specific number of bits that are on the menu, you can activate all of these cool special effects. But the big frustration is that you have to do a lot of like education to help your viewers understand what the bit menu even does and how they're even supposed to use it, which is really annoying as a streamer. You don't wanna to have to keep telling people and begging people like, oh, please give me bits. The other thing is if you wanna create two separate power-ups or bit menu items with the exact same price, you can't do that with the kind of bit menu that you guys are all setting up for your own stream. So when Twitch gives us the ability to create our own custom power-ups, you're gonna be able to create two different power-ups, but they're priced at the same amount, which is good. And also things are always just better when they're natively built into the platform, because once all of the huge streamers like Ludwig have their own custom power-ups, Everybody on the platform learns how the system works so that you as a streamer don't have to constantly explain it to your viewers or keep begging them to give you money. That's all the info that I can share with you right now because really beyond that, Twitch hasn't exactly decided how the custom power-up system is gonna work. And that's where we come in. So I've made this small redesign of the whole Twitch channel point system that I'd like to pitch to Twitch and I'd like to share that with you. It's not a huge redesign, but it's a realistic change that I think is actually plausible and something that I think Twitch will actually consider. First, Twitch needs to just combine channel points and power-ups into just one thing. I think power-ups is a really great name, so they should definitely keep that. We really need to just put an end to people abbreviating channel points. Guys, stop doing that, okay? It looks really bad when you keep coming to my stream and telling me how much CPU, you stop, okay? just. Call everything power-ups, it's a great name, stick with that. One of the benefits of combining power-ups is A, it's just simpler for people to understand, and B, we'd be able to set both a channel point cost and a bit cost 
to our rewards. It's really annoying when I get a huge raid and all these new people are coming in and I'm telling them about all these cool rewards that they can activate, but none of those new viewers can actually redeem them because you need to accumulate channel points, which could take days, weeks, even months to earn. So if we could just set our own bit cost or channel point cost, people can immediately spend bits, even if it's their first time watching the stream. And while we're at it, why don't you give us the ability to give discounts to subs or even better, make rewards that are sub only. Twitch recently increased the sub price from $5 to $6, which, you know, I get it, okay? Amazon is a small indie company that needs to make money somehow. But if Twitch is gonna charge more money for subs, I think it would be a really smart idea to also find a way to give more value for people's subs. I'm trying to come up with, you know, realistic ideas here. You can't just like, you can't just be like, hey Twitch, give us, Give us a 150% sub split. Like, they're never gonna do that. But how about the actual menu itself? Don't you guys feel like this is looking pretty small nowadays, especially with all the new options that they've added, like channel point predictions and community goals? I think it just makes sense to make this menu a little bit bigger. Also, did you guys ever think, why are the rewards arranged in a grid menu? Like, I've always thought it's weird that the menu is arranged in a grid as opposed to like a simple list menu. So I did this mock-up of what I think it might look like. And it makes it way easier to see the costs of each reward because it's just all listed on the right hand side. And it's just easier to scroll through as well. Heck, maybe we can even have like custom backgrounds in addition to custom icons or allow animated GIFs. I also don't like how rewards right now are simply ordered from least expensive to most expensive. I find this really annoying because sometimes I introduced a brand new channel point reward that I'd like to have pinned at the top of the menu. I made this little game on my stream that replicates the who's that Pokemon thing from the TV show. And one of the things that it does is it enables a temporary channel point reward where my viewers can spend bits to get a hint. So they activate the reward and it plays the cry of the Pokemon to help them guess what the Pokemon is. But I only ever have this custom reward active while the game is on. And then once the game is over, the reward goes away. The thing is with the way that the menu is ordered, my viewers have to scroll all the way down to find the reward and it's really annoying because the order is fixed. Like let us make our own sets of channel point rewards and really customize our menus to make them our own. I created a set of channel point rewards that can point a PTZ camera to different points around my studio so people can move it left and right, up and down, zoom in and out. And it'd be really great if I could just group all those rewards together in a cohesive, sensible order. Now, when we actually click on a reward, you see this menu that pops up? Yeah. I think this needs a refresh too. For one, I have rewards that require a bit of explanation or a description, and the box here is just way too small, so let us write more stuff in this box. But more importantly, you know how there's an option to have channel point rewards that have text input? How about they give us the ability to put in our own custom dropdown boxes? Something I've seen in people's streams is they'll have a channel point reward that allows their viewers to type in a box. And depending on what they write in that box, a different sound effect will play. Mutu. Wooting. So they'll have like 50 different sounds to choose from, but it's just a single channel point reward. Or some people, they have like RGB lights that are hooked up to channel points and their viewers can type in the color that they want to change those LED lights to. Well, if we could make our own custom dropdown boxes, then our viewers, they won't have to guess what they have to write in that box. Someone even made a suggestion on the Twitch user voice for even more options for things like numbers or sliders or like an actual color picker. If Twitch can make things easier for viewers to redeem, easier for them to understand, they're gonna be more likely to interact with them. But uh, yeah, those are my ideas. Let me know what you guys think of them. Uh, if you guys think they suck, oh, I'm sorry, where's your video, Mr. UX expert? If you have any better ideas, leave them in the comments down below or go follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna try make a Twitter post to go along with this video because I actually want Twitch to read it. So it would be super cool if you went over there and you share that post. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys next week.